get started. Let's get started. Let's get, get started. Let's get, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Atari 2600 games on your Windows PC using an emulator. Now, for the controls, you can use certain uh, console controllers. You can check out my videos for that. Or you can use just a regular PC controller. Or you can get an adapter, so you can use the regular Atari 2600 uh, joystick to USB, so you can connect it directly into your computer to play the game. So, let's get started. Alright, first you can follow the link in the video description and download Stella. It's a multi-platform Atari 2600 VCS emulator. Now be sure to download the correct version for your operating system. As you can see, there's both the 32-bit and 64-bit version for Windows, Mac, OS X, and Linux. Now, for me, I have the 32-bit version of Windows, so I just click the first link, and you wait five seconds, and it should start downloading. So wait for that. And once it's finished downloading, you'll need to download some games, which are the ROM files. Which you can download from sites like colrom.com, or romhustler.net, or doproms.com, or basically any other ROM site. Which you can just Google Atari 2600 ROMs. But for me, I'll be using colrom.com. Go to ROM files <coughs> and go down to Atari 2600. And then from here you can download any and as many Atari 2600 games, ROM games as you want. You can even browse them by alphabetical order, by the top downloaded or the top rated. So you just click on the title of the game you wish to download. So here it's E.T. So as you can see, it has the title screen and some screenshots. Which, uh, for anyone that knows what E.T. is, it's kind of a terrible game. Um, the cause of the video game crash for North America. Anyway, you can click download now. And wait 8 seconds. And for anyone that's interested, the Angry Video Game Nerd has released an official trailer for the Angry Video Game Nerd movie that features the E.T. game, so you can go check that out. Uh, anyway, you can click download your file, it should download, you can exit and go back, and repeat this process for you know, any other games you wish to download. Here's Custard's Revenge. For anyone that knows what Custard's Revenge is, you can understand why there's no screenshot. That is because it's an adult game. Even, you know, for Atari 2600 there were several adult games. And it's one of the first games to be banned. And you can click download now. Wait 8 seconds. And for anyone that's interested, the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd has the a video where he shows, kind of demonstrates several different uh, adult Atari games that were banned at the time. So it's very interesting. You can check that out. So anyway, you click download your file, and then exit, and go back, and you repeat this process as many times as you want, and download as many games as you want. Once you finish, you can exit and go to wherever your Stella installer was downloaded to. Maybe it was the desktop. You run your Stella installer. Just click run. Click next. 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 And then a 
I'd recommend creating a desktop icon. If you don't use it, and you click next. And finally, install. And once it's finished installing, you can click finish. It should be the <coughs> new icon shortcut for the Stella emulator. You just run that. And <coughs> then it says, This seems to be your first time running Stella. Before you can start a game, you need to specify where your ROMs are located. Click OK to select the default ROM directory, or cancel to browse the file system manually. So if you want to create a folder to put all of your ROM file, the ROM games in, you can click OK, then designate that folder to it. So just click up the folder. Click choose. Oh, it work. Okay. You find the games, and then you can go to options. You can go to video settings, and here you can increase the zoom and increase the full screen resolution. Turn full screen on. Click OK. Mm -hmm. and also go to input settings. And this is where you can select like, your controls for your joystick or a PC controller. You can even use your mouse as a controller. You can even assign like the different movements and map and then press the key that you wish to use for it. Controller button or whatever. Press OK when you're done. And exit and select whatever game you wish to play. And here we'll start out with E.T. Yeah, this game was responsible for the video game video game crash of 1983 in North America. So yeah, this game was that bad. Hey, I found something. Okay, get out of the hole. Okay, that was strange. Oh, what? what? I didn't see a hole that I found. Run away! Ah! The crap! Get out! So many unseen holes. Oh, I got kidnapped and captured for experimental purposes. Press escape to exit a game. Then you can go to options, whatever. You can even select the different games. So let's try Custard's Revenge. This is an adult game, but the sole purpose of this game is the sole. The only thing you do in this game is run across the screen dodging the arrows or spears or whatever and rape the Indian lady on the other side of the screen. Yeah, you get some. Giggity 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 goo! Alright! Giggity giggity! So yeah, three strikes and you're out. Yeah, let's not play that again. Um, you can just quit to exit.
comment.